How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and welcome to the start of our playthrough of this sim campaign for Stronghold 2 Steam Edition. This campaign is a little bit unique compared to uh, sim campaigns, you know, the economic, easy, path of peace kind of campaigns for other Stronghold titles because it's all self-contained in one sort of chapter and yet it has eight or nine or something like that missions. So I am going to be splitting it up obviously because it takes a couple of hours to complete. But I think we'll be splitting it up somewhere around 30 minutes an episode and we'll see how many missions that covers each time. So let's get started. I'm sending you on an errand right to the edge of our territory. The three lords I have dispatched here have done little to alleviate the many problems beset on these lands. Just so we are clear, next time I catch you withholding money, I will be cooking more than your books. I have not heard from Sir Edwin in a while, but sources inform me that he has taken to extorting money from the peasantry. Sir Gray spends most of his time sleeping. What was that you say? Oh... And as for Sir William, when he is not away on some crusade or other, he spends most of his time in the capital courting Lady Seven. I can only hope that you can do something here to turn this county around and provide a profit for the royal treasury. For many a year, ships have fallen foul to the treacherous waters along this coastline. Your first task will be to build a warning beacon to help prevent any further shipwrecks. I am assigning Tom Simpkins to you, my trusted scribe. He will help you on your way. Okay, so this is the starting mission. You need to build the beacon and acquire 30 apples. I don't know exactly how my lord would end up dying, but... Greetings, my lord. My name is Simpkins. Welcome to your new castle. Nice, okay. So right there is our stockpile. It's not the... Most optimally placed. Is falling. My liege, I have assigned some monks to work on the beacon. They will take the wood they need from our stockpile. Yep, they're just gonna take that wood right out of there. Okay, let's build some saw pits here. Where do you want to build the saw pits? Let's build them down here. Uh, we start with eight peasants, so I'm gonna do four on the wood, and then we'll do four on the apples. Just to get a decent start with the apple production here. Oh, actually we can't do four. I should have split that out better. We don't have enough wood to do that. Okay, here we go. Let's put another one wood duty. I suppose these monks have been taking some of my wood as well. I went ahead and turned the speed up to 90 because otherwise I knew this was going to take a while. In the meantime, we can just take a look over what we have to work with here. My word, yet another ship has run ashore. We must finish that beacon soon before any more lives are lost. Apparently another ship crashed. No, no, you... Dragonary stocks, so stocks are empty. It's another definition of very low. It's a pretty big map, as you can see. Here's Sir Gray's castle, here's Edwin's castle, and here's Sir William's castle. Sir William has a really sucky castle. Which is unusual, it seems. Okay, we're getting some wood in. Our granary stocks are growing, sir. We have some food. Okay, we can fit another, another couple of farms there and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. We need another hovel. It doesn't really matter where we put it, to be honest, because we're going to be tearing this estate down when we're finished with it. Let's get some more woodcutters here. We almost have enough apples already anyway. That's pretty surprising. Well, I mean, this could be an effective way to stockpile wood going into the future. If I was interested in trying that. I could just build a bunch of saw... I don't know. I don't think so. That's a terrible way. Saw pits are so miserly in how much wood they cost. It wouldn't even matter. How... how oh, there we go. It's complete. Excellent work. You have no idea how much this means to the economy of our country. Now you have safeguarded our shipping lines and I can move you on to nobler duties. Okay, so that completes the first mission. 
as a point now. That's kind of ridiculously fast, isn't it? The first one. And the, the thing that you need to remember as a player here is that these are never saved after the completion of any of them, which means that if you decide that uh, you fail, or if you fail a mission, you'll go all the way back to the beginning and you have to start over again, which I, I think is terrible. But so we need to remember to save at the start of the next, the next mission. The season of knighting is fast approaching. The season of knighting. I would like to knight you, but first you must learn to live like a lord. Tom Simpkins will teach you all that you need to know. Okay, doke. We need to acquire 50 honor, uh, 10 pigs, and 10 vegetables. Once again, we can't let our lord die. So let's get to it. We're not timed in this one either. My liege, why not build a kitchen? Why Home not? feast in the hall will greatly improve your honor. Put the kitchen there. Can they get through? Yes. The cook informs me that a simple way to bring honor to the castle would be to feed the peasants well. Placing a hunter's post or two would bring much needed variety to their meager diet. Okay. I was going to put a vegetable farm here and a couple of pig farms. The good weather has led to a bumper harvest, my lord. We can soon expect to see our farmers delivering extra crops. Now, the hunter's posts are mostly used to generate food, not necessarily honor, but having multiple food types will generate honor, and so it's a roundabout way of generating more honor, so they're not exactly wrong, but I felt like being picky about it, as you can see right there. Uh, we probably should have built more vegetable farms and more pig farms, to be honest. I wonder if there's anything cheesy we can do with our lord. Can we actually take over this estate here? With a, No, I don't think so. That's a lot of wolves. Because that, that would be interesting like to try to break the flow of what you're supposed to do. You do have honor to purchase this <laughs> Silly me. Okay, I think what we're going to do is build another one of the farms down here. But I need to clear some of those wood... Those saw pits out of the way for it. Oh, okay. We can't build it there. Not enough room, but we can build one here. So put the uh, vegetable farm there and then like a pig farm or two here. Uh, we might be able to build another... Yeah, we can. There's another vegetable farm. There we go. And of course, we are making a ton of food. So we're going to double rations that. Oh, I don't have a treasury though. Never mind. That we don't double rations anything. Yes, normal rations. So the kitchen, I believe, it takes up three peasants to run it, because you need the cook and then her two helpers. Which means that it's one of the more expensive buildings to build at the start of uh, your, your castle economy. Especially since they don't do anything a lot of the time, like right? they're just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. Or does it take up five? I forget. It's been a while now. Has brought valuable honor to our castle, my lord. If we can continue these feasts, the king will surely see fit to knight you. So that's an interesting observation here. It might require five peasants. Should we test this? I don't know how many peasants I have available to me here. And I should rebuild my saw pits. We need a lot of wood, so. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. I'm going to have five saw pits here that don't have labor, right? We're going to turn this thing off. How many of them are filled? Four? Five. Yeah, okay, so I'm wrong. I was wrong. The kitchen takes up five peasants to run it, which is just beyond the pale, in my opinion. That's ridiculous. So now we should have, now they should all go back because I deleted the woodcutters for them. They're previously stationed in. Yep, see right there. So I, I was initially wrong, but I'm glad I caught myself there. It takes five peasants. For some reason, I, I think three would have been more than suitable. Like you have the the uh, cook and her two helpers. Those two helpers can then carry the meal. Why do you need an additional two helpers to serve the feast? 
I mean, it's just to me, from the perspective of, you know, somebody who has to actually run this economy, it's a huge ask to require five just for that. And it's something that I ne never necessarily cared for. This should just about do it, though, in terms of being victory for this mission. How much wood do we have? 174. Just need to acquire a few more pigs and a few more vegetables. I'm surprised at how long it's been stuck there. And we also need the, the honor from this feast that they're hosting here in the hall. Everything appears to be stuck at their current levels, though. And this is on speed 90, too. Like, I'm doing my best to hurry through this one. What? How can I have not enough honor? Okay, how much did we require? I forget now. Oh, there we go. Well done indeed. You have proved yourself most honorable. Arise, Sir Knight. So that was the issue then, is those bars, you saw the progress bars, they were a bit off, probably because of the remastering of the game. I've noticed that with the progress bars that are put into other locations, sometimes they're just completely out of alignment with where they're supposed to be. So they were fully full, even when it looked like they had just a little bit, like 95% full, they could go another 5%. Never mind, I was wrong about that then. Well, let's start the next mission. We have the time. Now you are a knight, I am giving you a second estate to control. You will find a ruined castle there. I wish you to restore it to its former glory and move in as soon as you can. Okay, so we are going to be slowing this down as soon as we get into it because we have a time to defeat here in 68 months, okay. Our objective is to rebuild the Ruined Keep. Okay. So here is the Ruined Keep. It's not complete at all yet. And this mission has a lot of fires in it. So you're going to need some wells to start off with. Now in Stronghold 2, this is sometimes overlooked, but you are it's intended that you're going to be able to build while playing the game. Or, or I mean without playing the game, when the game is paused. So we want to build up some of our quarries here, I think, before we actually unpause and start playing the game. So we can go three, I think we can fit four quarries in here. Yeah, there we go, four. So there are the four quarries. We are of course going to be turning the kitchen off because we don't need the honor necessarily. In terms of food, I think we have more than enough. I might be deleting some of those buildings. Or I could just, yeah, I think, well, I mean, the fire is the issue here, isn't it? But it doesn't spread nearly as quickly as it does in Stronghold, a Crusader in Stronghold HD. And, of course, the ox tethers in Stronghold 2 also require peasants to man them. As opposed to later editions of the game. So there you go. And let's delete those woodcutters there, because we're going to need to replace them with carters posts. And we're going to, we're owl, I should say. Yeah, we place them up here. Okay, unpause everything. Get that out of the way. And there we go. I think that's a good start. The recent hot summers have left the ground parched and made the vegetation brittle. I advise that we protect ourselves against fire and make haste with our relocation. A horse and cart will deliver any stone we produce. I'm going to be building the well, or I'm going to be building a well there by the granary and a couple, I think, over here by the quarries. We now own the neighboring estate. The monks there will help us rebuild the ruined castle, but we must provide them with the stone they need. Once we have stone in our stockpile, we can send it to them using a carter's post. Yeah, so you can see the progress bar is offset, which is going to make doing some of these missions a little bit funky. I think we have everything set up here. I'm not sure if I want to delete like farms there. I should, here's one thing I should do. I'm going to turn all the saw pits off and hopefully they'll be reallocated here over here to the, the quarries instead right away. Because I need to get going on that first and foremost. 
before we do other stuff. So here, really turn the vegetable cool. gardens off, turn the pig farms off. There we go. And that means we have all the wells and all the quarries equipped at this point. We should probably build another hovel. I don't think we have quite enough population if you want to turn everything back on. And yeah, okay. I think we're ready to turn building has no labor, buildings back on. Except for the kitchen, of course. We, I don't know. No, I'm not sure if the honor would carry over. It might, because that'd be an interesting idea then to stockpile some additional honor. Okay, I've decided to speed it up to 60 speed, just so we can get going with this a little bit more. It turns out that if you pause the game at the very beginning, it gives you a better opportunity to build as opposed to playing it on a slow speed. Castle buildings are aflame, my liege. Okay, there is one. Hopefully our well workers can control the inferno. Yep, okay. Nice. Fires have begun to flare, my liege. We must make haste with our move. Our wooden castle will not withstand this for long. Should I build another well? We have the population for it, so why not? There we go. And we're also going to need some Carter's posts now. One downside to the Carter's, the building Carter posts now is that if I don't have the stone available, it you usually try to. Oh wait, no, I suppose it wouldn't. That would just be if it delivered it to me. Okay, let's build it. That way they're manned and ready to go as soon as possible. I'm not sure how many we can fit in here. Uh, we could fit another one, but there's no point in putting it there, I don't think. I'd like to move this well, but then again, I don't have enough wood. If I move the well, I'm pretty sure I can put another carter in here. Castle buildings are aflame, my liege. Hopefully our well workers there's one. The inferno. Yeah, where's the well worker? Holy crap. Everything is burning down. Yeah, those well workers really don't run very fast, do they? Look at that. That was hardly... Hardly in time to save the whole thing. I guess they're running back to it, so I can't complain too much. I'm gonna put the well up here instead. And delete that well, so that way we can place down a Carter's post. Wait. Okay, there we go. I thought it should fit, but then I wasn't sure. No! Oh. Yeah, okay. They got, they got on that one quite quickly. Shh! Shut up about the Carter's post! There we go. We're sending our goods. Be, be quiet. Be quiet, you fool. I don't know why exactly we need- uh, that scribe needs to shut up about the Carter's post. It's such a lengthy diatribe. When it comes- like, every time you start a new mission and then you- Just the most annoying thing ever to listen to. So we're finally getting some of our stone over here to the estate with the monks. And now they can finally start rebuilding their ruined castle. Three Select Carters should be enough. Actually, three carters is probably overkill, let's be honest here. There we go. We be sending a lot of stone now. Here we are, 7% done. 12%. I'm just going to delay it this time, to be honest. Because it's pretty clear at this point that these uh, woodcutters over here cannot be accessed in nearly fast enough fashion or order to put it out in a reasonable amount of time. It's too far away, basically. How much? We've got 40 pigs and 35 vegetables. This makes me wonder. I'm pretty sure I can send other stuff over to this state. we try sending wood once. I'm not sure if the wood will stay in that estate, though, when I get it. It might, which would be quite helpful, so why not try it? Like, there's nothing else I'm planning on doing with the wood at the moment anyway. So I might as well try to set my future self up for success. So yeah, we're going to be taking this estate here over in the very next mission. Ah, yeah. And, and we have some, you know, our power is growing once we get that estate. 
isn't it? Got some wolves to take care of, of course. A lot of wolves. That's a lot of wolves there. Castle buildings are aflame, my liege. Hopefully our well workers can control the inferno. At least the fire spread mechanics in these later Stronghold games weren't re as ridiculous as in the first ones. It reminds me of playing Don't Starve. Uh, single player versus Don't Starve multiplayer. If you're looking for a comparison from that angle. 62% done. Yeah, I'm just deleting that. These things are too cheap to bother trying to put the fire out on. Of course, there's going to be a cost to labor because the peasant has to walk back over there, but... It's not that big of an issue, is it? Maybe I should build another Carter's. And fit one right there. Oh, I don't think we have anything else we can send to the stockpile, though. So, meh. I guess we'll just delete it. Because that estate only has a stockpile. It's not, oh wait, it also has a granary. Okay, okay, we fine. We'll send stuff to the granary then. That's cool. Here, apples. Let's send lots and lots of apples. I'm deleting that building. That piggy pig, that apple farm thing. I'm just going to send tons and tons of apples over there. If I can. Holy crap! They're burning everything down, what the hell? I'm just kidding. That's magnificent. Okay, that's victory, even without the victory music. So that's where I'm going to leave it at the end of this episode. We completed a few, but thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.